Oh, goodness me, what a day. It's been long. So, oh, this should say starting. Monday. There we go, starting, not ending. Anyway, this is... When it's finished making that noise. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the key scene, okay, from the wiki. So if we change this to lit, a lot of fog here at the minute because it's a very foggy day in the land of the wiki. And here's where we've got some issues. So, boat, fishing boat. Click on this, it's only got one level of detail. Okay, we can tell it's only got one level of detail because, firstly, if we were mousing over this, Okay, inside the folder, so if I do this, sec, mouse over it, you can see it's only got one LOD. So that's not optimal. So what I can do is I can basically give it some more LODs pretty easily. Let's open up some of these. And let me see, LODs, auto, build settings, get rid of that, LOD group. That's the one I need. And I'm going to use a large prop, because it is a large prop. Yes. And now what it's doing is, it's quickly doing all the calculations it needs to do in order to turn this into a nice high LOD and low LOD. If I click so, now if we look, triangles 10,285, but as this becomes a percentage of my screen, so for example, that big, let's keep going down, 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 down. Actually, I'm just going to zoom back a bit like that you can see 5000 then i go back a bit more we'll drop into lod2 and then we'll drop into lod1 all the way back here sorry lod3 rather and that's only 1286 polys great so now what i can do is i can pick these lod's and with three i'll turn off cast shadow and with two i'm going to turn off cast shadow because you don't need it to just wasting our resources doing that. Let's click back to LOD Auto now. And you can see there's no shadow there now, but as I get closer and closer and closer, the shadow will kick in just very slow, unfortunately, there. Okay, so that's where the shadow is going to appear now. And that'll save me an awful lot of processing time. Now the same again for these. So if I go to my hopper, I know for a fact this doesn't have LODs on it. So I've come down here to my LOD group and let's just say it's large. So I'll do a largish prop. Click there. It's going to do all the things it needs to do to save. And now I'll go to LOD level 3. And hang on a second. LOD 3, turn off cast shadow. LOD 2, turn off cast shadow. Turn this to auto. Let's see how far away it is when it basically stops casting a shadow now. So I'm just mousing back. Quite a long way, actually. It has to be very, very small for that to work. So I'm going to take out LOD1 as well, which we can see is 0.01% of screen size. So that's really, really tiny. Turn off cast shadow on that. I'm not sure why the screen size on that is actually so small. So I think what I might do is I might change this. Okay, so let me have a look. Instead of large prop, I'll just make this maybe a small prop. Right, so there we go. So now we've got all these LODs. And if I change my LOD, once it's finished doing its saving and stuff, obviously, because it's still busy, I'll click Save. Come up here, go to LOD 3. No shadow, LOD2, no shadow, LOD1, still no shadow. So only an LOD on the LOD0, which has a screen size of 0. Okay, so now if I click Save, that means that this is only going to cast shadows when I need it to. Same with this one, let's go to the hopper roof. And for LODs on this, LOD group. Ah, uh, well, it's not high detail, is it? So, let's say, just large prop again in this. Actually, no. Small prop, because it's not a large one. So, just a standard prop. 
There we go. Give it a second. All done. Now, if I go into my LODs, it's log 3, which is at 0 0.02. So we certainly don't need shadow on that. It's so far away, there's no point. LOD 2, again, we don't need shadow on that. And LOD 1, definitely don't need shadow on that, even though it's only 0 0.01. Now I can click Save. So a couple of minor things we've done here, but you may not be noticing the difference, but trust me, I am, okay? I know this is obviously a bit like a flip book, you know, because I'm running it inside of the editor, but it is making a big, big difference. Now, another thing I can do as well is if I come over to this card track, I actually created a couple of assets to be used in this card track, one of which is this trackway. And if I check here, there's also no LODs for the trackway. So, LOD group, and again, we're going to change this to small prop, not large, that way it's going to have a different percentage on the screen sizes. And again, LOD3, which is tiny, we're going to remove the shadow from. LOD2, again, remove its shadow cast ability. LOD1, how big is that? Really tiny, certainly don't need shadows on that either. Okay, so we can close that down now. And now, not all of these are casting shadows way off in the distance either. So this is making a big difference for what we're doing. Now there's one other thing down here, and if I just find it, it's this. There we are, and this is just a cube. So really, I don't want to have to go in and do too much with this, but I've opened up cube, give it my LODs, you notice it doesn't have any, so LOD group, small prop. So now we're adding LODs to all the cubes in the scene, and I've used a few of them. There we are. Let it do its saving. And finally, all I'm going to do is just strip out the LODs for, well, whatever that is. Uh, remember, I can go and fix up these LODs if I need to. See that screen size, 1.76. I'm definitely leaving that on. But LOD2 here, probably not. So let's check auto. Uh, that's not going to do really, is it? Okay, let's go back to our LODs again. Stick LOD2 on. Because if you look, these screen sizes are massive, aren't they? LOD3, though, isn't massive. So we'll leave that as it was. So now it's weirdly casting shadows and glowing like crazy, which it's probably going to do down there as well. Just save. There. So now high up step, so don't need to cause shadows. So that's going to save us an awful lot of dickery. Now the last one, let's have a look at these. Now if I go to these objects here, we can see that they have got six LODs, so that's really, really helpful. So if I go into it, and we can see here that basically what I'm going to have to do is go to my LOD picker, LOD5 for example, and if I open up my sections, you'll see that because this is made out of multiple pieces, I'll have to deselect shadowing like this on all of the material slots because they're not basically bound into just one okay so this is obviously a 0.24 screen size now I click save and this means they're only going to cast shadows when we're nice and close to them I can do the same as well with the other one because these are pretty much made from the same thing so if I go into LOD picker LED5, and again, when these are nice and small, we don't want them to cast shadows. So off, 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 and off. There we go. And that's when these are smaller than a quarter of the screen size. Then it's going to turn the shadowing off for these. Hit save. And now what it's going to do is it's going to fix that over all the assets that I've done where this has been used in all levels. That I pull this up in. Okay, so again, it's going to be a little bit rattly at the minute, but it is going to work. Now, there's another thing I need to do up here, and this is to do with if I come in close, you can see things popping into their appearance. It's these. Okay, so I'm going to get my roof gear 
just here. And these are some things I made and never didn't really think about afterwards. Only one LOD on them though. So I'm going to LOD group these and these are literally architecture. Take my LOD group three and just check. It certainly doesn't need um what do you call it shadowing on that level because look at it it's crazy that's uh yeah so lod3 turn cost shadow off lod2 again cast shadow off but only wanted to cast shadow when we can actually literally see it near us otherwise there's no damn point there we go so again this is now not going to cast shadows big difference now finally, these ones. Now, if I was a gambling man, which I'm not, but if I was, four LODs, one LODs, one LODs, one LODs. You see here, this is all one LOD. So these are going to also have to be fixed up in order to make them work. So again, just the same as before. You can pretty much see how it's going to go. I, uh, I'm genuinely curious as to what's going on with the rock here. I quite like it, though. It's interesting m huge icelandic rock i think uh something's gotten corrupted somewhere probably the normal map but that is quite funky isn't it anyway enough of that so hope that's useful for you hope that helps you speed up your project a teeny weeny bit god knows we all need it so until we see you again take care much love and uh you know keep on trucking bye bye for now